Good morning. I would like to start by stating a quote. The quality of democracy and the quality of journalism are deeply entwined. Today, I Karthik would like to share my thoughts on a topic postmortem of politics in form of a speech. <clears throat> one word can have different meanings. One question can have multiple solutions. Similarly, postmortem of politics too have various and distinguished meanings, but some similar aspects that triggers to every individual are the deeper and darker truth about the indian politics and all the conspiracy and deeper unknown hidden facts that our indian politics behold general elections occur uh, in every parts and phases in some local areas due to high intensity of population density every political party is using social media to spread its policies and programs and all the information regarding its, pol- its political agendas it will be very unfortunate if it uh, if it turns out to be remotely controlled misinformation campaign that it usually occurs in india the worrying aspect is that if a mature democracy like united states of america there people can be misled then it is relatively very easy in a younger democracy like india the point which is quite clear that social media misinformation can overturn a democratic process and political statements and policies it is anti ethical to human rights which is seen and which is controlled by the united nation organizations the more people to people communication is more uh, the more people to people communication is the more is the strengthening of relationships this is the basic principle of political concept of nation building which usually fades away as we talk about the indian politics in an informative society bonds grow stronger and by <clears throat> by being transparent but when we talk about indian politics it's very it's very very <clears throat> cloudy we are now heading towards a world order of net states in between an ominous development of misuse of social media has cropped up the real politics a serious problem is the spread of misinformation which can severely impact the decision making process of politics this is because we are very closer to the virtual world that is social media but we are very far away in the physical world of politics social media has brought the world so close that the political and the geographical boundaries are crumbling which has resulted in a cascading effect on politics now i would like i would like to conclude my speech by <clears throat> by stating whether social media is a blessing or a curse it has changed the face of politics <clears throat> in a in a very huge manner frequently with a variety of colors also it has shown the citizens of india two major sides of indian politics a bright side which has appealed the majority and a dark side which has never came to light completely thank you